Yo, what is going on my friends? Back again with another video. Today, we're gonna give you a full tutorial on Lil Sky's Young Pinch, I Know You. Also gonna be giving you a quick little breakdown of this music video, talking about some of the different things used, pointing you guys in the right direction of things that are gonna help you, as well as just giving you guys some of my thoughts about the music video as a whole. What I wanna do for this video is kinda just do more of a brief breakdown, and then I really wanna push towards the tutorial part, show you guys some really cool tricks within Premiere and After Effects that you guys can learn from this. Really just give you guys some useful information that you can take away from this. So first off this was directed by Nicholas Jandora he's been working a lot with Lil Skies recently he has a lot of really cool awesome projects definitely one of my favorite directors that I've been watching recently feeling that in the future there's gonna be a lot more coming from him so shout out to him also editing and visual effects on this project and a lot of the other Lil Skies videos that they've done together by Bradley Adam I know he was the DP and editor for some other projects that they've done together I'm also pretty sure that he is from Pittsburgh which is where I'm from so shout out to him so first off with the title scene one of the most important parts of any video we've got some cool kind of blur RGB displacement. I'm gonna go in and show you some similar tricks you can do with some plugins as well as this is something I didn't even realize but if you really just stop and think about it this is like a giant mosque just hanging in the middle of Los Angeles so I'm pretty sure that he actually put this in so it's either some kind of green screen or 3d element that he 3d tracked in there pretty cool trick I'm gonna show you like I said at the end how to do some 3d tracking within After Effects as well as some easier stuff in Premiere that any kind of beginner intermediate or advanced people can really learn from so the main real theme we have of the editing right here is we have these masking effects effects and it's just kind of jittering across the screen I'm gonna show you how to do that within Premiere and what he's really doing here is just masking out parts of the clip and just putting them in there for a couple of frames so it just kind of flickers across the screen and it creates a really cool kind of style for the video I also want to point out they have some really cool lighting throughout this entire video some really cool sets so another thing that we got going on here is we kind of have these mask clips and just different shapes you can just find some stock footage of like the ocean or the sky put a little simple crop effect on it and just make it flicker across the screen like I said I'll show you in just a moment we also have some other cool stuff right here like this VHS, just some masking and then placing the VHS over it. You can actually get the same exact VHS look with the universe plugins from Red Giant, but I'm also gonna link you guys below to a free VHS pack I have in case you want something similar, but also for free. So here's another really cool part using that masking that I was talking about, just masking out a specific part like his hand kind of rotating like that, creates a really cool effect. And they actually repeat this effect a few different times using different objects. This is another really cool part within the actual scene. You have him putting his hands up in the sky like that and what he did was he created this transition where it kind of zooms in and out like that. I have a similar tutorial talking about how to zoom in and out of stuff in my ASAP Forever tutorial showing you guys how to kind of zoom out of multiple objects and like paste them to the walls. And like I said, I'm just going to be breaking this down briefly, but I do want to mention this scene right here. It's pretty cool. Masked out everything except the doors and then put this awesome galaxy scene behind it. And I really want to point out here the lens flares, which I'm going to be showing you how to create later, as well as these particles right here. Now these are actually free particles from video copilot i'm going to link them down below you can get them 100 for free a bunch of different ones and it's just going to show and it's just going to give you some cool stuff you can overlay within your video projects to kind of create these kind of atmospheric looks right here and they did a really good job of mixing together the lyrics and the actual video itself where he talks about being in a spaceship they put him in the car and they use the masking to put that kind of galaxy as well as they tied it together really well with the lighting they have in the car now here's another example of those kind of jittering crops that i was talking about first time was with the fist and now he's doing it with a necklace right here kind of flashing it across the screen looks pretty cool now most of the video after this is kind of just repeating the steps that I mentioned but just doing it in different ways but this part right here is another cool little effect that I want to mention to you guys and I'm gonna show you how to do with an After Effects now this is just using some simple masking and I think it's a really creative idea because he didn't put objects he actually cropped out parts of the scene and kind of made him hang there kind of like some like shards of a mirror cool little cool little effect like I said we're gonna hop in After Effects I'm gonna show you the tracking let's hop in here and show you exactly how to do some of these tricks so let's go into premiere right here okay guys so let's start off with some of the easier stuff that we can do with just premiere using just the crop effect and i'm going to show you exactly what to do so say for example we want to recreate that effect where it's kind of the hands going like this or you can really do with any object and just kind of make it flash and jitter across the scene i'm going to show you how to do that using just the crop effect like i said so first off we find a good place in the footage for example a part of the scene where you have an object that you want to highlight like he did it with the necklace there he did it with the kind of rotating hand so let's just do it with his hand right here in this scene but you can do this with anything you can choose any part of the scene to kind of duplicate I know he was kind of doing it with trees kind of different angles so you can really do this with any part of the scene and just kind of tweak it to however you like it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this arrow and we're gonna go to our effects library and then we're just going to look up a simple crop effect right here now to set this effect up what I'm gonna do is hold down alt and I'm going to drag up this clip to duplicate it so now we have a duplication on top of our original footage 
And this is gonna serve as the layer where we have our cropped out hand effect. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either motion track the hand so that it's falling along with whatever he's doing, or an easier way to do this is you can just make a little freeze frame. So I'm gonna do that just to save time. If you wanna do the motion tracking method, I recommend you look up my three ways to mask video, or you just do a track mask with an After Effects. Pretty simple. I got some more tutorials on that all over my channel. But instead, like I said, to do this freeze frame, I'm gonna click Control K. So I'm gonna make a cut on this top duplicated layer. And then what I'm gonna do is move over one frame. So just click the right arrow key once, just like that. And then I'm gonna click Control K again, right there. And we can just delete any of this excess clip because we don't need it. I'm gonna right click on this little sliver right here, the one frame, and I'm going to click Add Frame Hold, and then I'm gonna drag it out, just like that. If that worked correctly, when I scrub along here, it should be still, which is correct, which is, which is good. So we have everything still, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on my clip. Now we're gonna finally add that crop effect that I was talking about, but before we do do that, I'm gonna right click on my freeze frame and I'm going to actually nest it. And this is actually a good idea to do with a lot of freeze frame clips. For some reason, whenever you freeze frame stuff, if you try and place effects onto it, sometimes it won't work. If you do nest the freeze frame, you're free to put any other effects onto it that you do want and they will show up correctly. So let's place our crop on our nested clip. And then let's go up to our effect controls and then over into our crop options right here. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click the pen tool just like this, and we're gonna select the area of the scene that we want to duplicate and make jitter across the screen. So in this case, it's gonna be his hand. If you guys watch my tips for a better masking video, you'll know if you click the squiggly key on your keyboard, you can make this full screen in Premiere, and you can just have a way more accurate mask, as well as if you hold down the mouse button, you're gonna be able to bend those joints and really follow the shape of his actual hand. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna ask, we're gonna add some feathering at the end, click off the squiggly key to go back into our regular view, and then back into our mask options and our effect controls. And let's just make left 100%, and then we're gonna click inverted like that. So now what we have is if I hide my bottom layer, we have a layer of just the hand cropped out like that. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of feathering and blending just to make this look better and not as kind of smudgy. So let's click on our clip and then go to our effect controls. And then down here in our mask options, what we can do is we can just bump up the feather a tiny bit. As always, if you want, you just click this button right here that says mask one to highlight the mask. And then we can go back in and actually just fix the mask in case there's anything you wanna add or subtract from the mask itself. All right, so we have a pretty good accurate hand. Let's bring back our footage to show it right there. What you can do is you can just duplicate this and move it anywhere you want and just have a bunch of different duplications of the hand, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and just go back up to our effect controls of our new of our new duplication. And we'll click this box next to motion and we'll just move it over to like here. And then we can just move it over a few frames so that it doesn't pop up to like later like that. You can do the same thing with our normal duplication. Click the box next to motion, move it wherever you'd like, and you're gonna see something like this. And of course, you can always animate it. You can go through the keyframes to rotate it if you'd like. I'm gonna make a keyframe on our rotation at our starting position right here. I'm gonna move a little bit and then I'll just jack that up a bit. And you'll get something like that where you have some rotating hands. To get that kind of quick like jittering that they were going for in the video, you can make a bunch more duplications. Of course, animate them however you would like for the position scale, the rotation. You can really do anything you want with this. Um, the thing I liked about this music video is it wasn't really like specific stuff or following specific tutorials. It was really just using masking and kind of just being creative. And it was just up to the editor to really kind of do that and just mix it together into whatever he wanted to. So I think that looks pretty cool. Here's a little recreation of what we just did. Now, another little simple thing I want to mention that I talked about in the breakdown briefly is that VHS now there's two ways you can do it like I said the first way is you can use a universe VHS plugin what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a new layer so I'm gonna click this little page right here in my project bin and I'm just going to make a color mat I'm gonna click OK and I'm just gonna make it black and this is basically the same as creating a new solid in After Effects if you guys are uh, familiar with that let's place our color mat here so now let's go to our effects library and I'll just look up VHS and right here universe VHS We'll place it on there. I'm pretty sure he might have used something like bad tracking, something like that. And now we have this little VHS clip that we can click on motion and we can place wherever we want just to kind of pop up. Um, in, some of the, in some of the actual scenes, he changed the blending mode of the opacity. So in your effect controls, if you go to opacity, you can put it on screen or something like that. And if you guys don't, and if you guys don't want to spend $100 trying to get those universe plugins just for that VHS effect, what you can do is check out my website, link down in the description. I have a free VHS pack with a bunch of overlays that you can get. Click on video products and then it is right here. Your free VHS pack. You guys can check that out. Download that for free and you'll have basically the same exact thing, but you just need to overlay the clips.